Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the game Dune 3 BFG Edition on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to leave a link to this website in the description. This is macsourceports.com and this is a collection of open source ports that have been built for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So specifically this Dune 3 BFG Edition is a new signed port. This is relying on a source port called rbdoom3-bfg and this has been built for Universal 2 so it works on a native Apple Silicon Mac as well as on 64-bit Intel Mac. So that's Catalina, Mac OS, Macs and onwards. This project has been put together by a single user who has decided to build the native ARM ports of several games, starting with a lot of id games, including Quake, Quake 2, Quake 3 Arena, etc. So I do recommend checking out this website. What we're going to do is to go to the Doom 3 BFG edition section here, and we're going to press the download button here. So if Chrome says that this might be a dangerous file, don't worry about that. We're just going to press the keep button here. Then we're going to go to finder, and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And here I have the RB Doom 3 BFG port here. So this is the zip file. What I'm going to do is to double click on this. So if I control click and get info here, we can see that this is a universal application. So in order to move on to the next step, we're going to need the game files for Doom 3 BFG edition. So you can actually buy this from Steam or from GOG. So I do recommend getting this from GOG.com because this is a DRM free installer. However, once we purchase it and download it, what we're going to need to do is to extract the Windows files from it. You can actually do this using Crossover or running Windows 11 ARM as a virtual machine through Parallels. But there is also another method which I'll link to in the description. This is using macOS to extract the Windows files out of this exe. So I've already extracted the files here. This is this app folder here. So according to the instructions of rbdoom 3 bfg we're going to need this base folder. So I'm going to control click on this base folder and click copy. And then we're going to navigate to the application support folder. So once we have Finder highlighted, we're going to press go, and then hold down the option key. And that's going to reveal this library button here. But if I hold down the option key, I can now click library. And now we're going to go to application support. So these instructions are not quite correct. What we need to do is to put it in this folder called rbdoom-3-bfg. So I'll leave these instructions in the video description. We need to place the base folder into here. So if you don't have this folder already, what you can do is to go ahead and click File, click New Folder, create one which is called rbdoom-3-bfg. So once we've created the folder, we're going to double click on it, and then we're going to go to Edit and then Paste Item, and it's going to paste the base folder into this folder here. And then we're going to go back to the downloads folder. I'm going to move this RB Doom 3 BFG into the applications folder so that it's fully installed. So I'm going to let go of that here. So I can now go ahead and run Doom 3 BFG just by double clicking on this application. And this game is now capable of running. I'm going to click on here. And now we have the full game up and running. So under Activity Monitor, I can see that this is a native Apple Silicon game. So this is running correctly on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and it's taking advantage of the hardware and software of this system. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you do like the idea of more Mac Source ports, then please check out MacSourcePorts.com. They also have an active Discord as well. And I'm sure that if you message the developer for suggestions on the next Mac source ports to cover, then they'll take that into consideration. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.